Internal Revenue Service IRS Tax News. IRS expands voice bot options for faster service, less wait time. In response to taxpayer feedback saying, hey, IRS, your wait time on your phone line, it's ridiculous. What are you going to do about it? The IRS responds, we hear you taxpayers. In action, it's been taken. We've expanded two brand new automated bot responses to the phone lines. What are they? The first brand new bot response says, if you want answers to all tax questions, just press number five. After pressing number five, it politely tells you, please visit irs.gov, irs.gov, our IRS website, and then hangs up on you. Freeing up the line for the next caller, the second brand new bot response says, if you want to speak to a representative, just press number six. After pressing number six, it then shames you for not wanting to interact with a bot, you bot racist. Then it tells you to stop pressing zero because we don't use that option anymore. Then it brings back the original options asking you, please pick one which is less offensive. We truly believe these changes will fix the telephone communications problems and address the feedback that we have been receiving. I'm just kidding. That's going to be the joking response here. Let's see what the IRS has to say for real. Assistance for eligible taxpayers in setting up or modifying payment plans now available. More functions planned in 2022 to help taxpayers obtain account information. Voice bot video. They got a link to the voice bot video here so you can check that out. IR 2022-127, June 17th, 2022, Washington. The Internal Revenue Service today announced expanded voice bot options to help eligible taxpayers easily verify their identity to set up or modify payment plans while avoiding long wait times. So it sounds fairly mundane to me that they have added new bot options, but possibly that could actually be a significant improvement and improve the situation in terms of the wait time. So, quote, this is part of a wider effort at the IRS to help improve the experience of taxpayers, in quote, said IRS Commissioner Chuck Reddick. Well, that sounds good. More bot communication. <laughs> well, I'm sure that'll help, but maybe it'll help. I don't know. Quote, we continue to look for ways to better assist taxpayers, and that includes helping people avoid waiting on hold or having to make a second phone call to get what they need. The expanded voice bots are another example of how technology can help the IRS provide better service to taxpayers. I'm still skeptical, but we'll see. Voice bots run on software powered by artificial intelligence, which enables a caller to navigate an interactive voices response. Yes, we've used them before. They, they're not always accommodating, but maybe if you got a really good one, if you got a really good one, it can help, I'm sure. So the IRS had been using voice bots on numerous toll-free lines since January, enabling taxpayers with simple payment or notice questions to get what they need quickly uh, and avoid waiting. Taxpayers can always speak with an English or Spanish-speaking IRS telephone representative if needed. That's great, although it doesn't seem like they're always available because the wait times have been kind of long, at least especially during that COVID time and the social distancing and all that kind of stuff. So hopefully they're getting back online, getting ready, ready to rock and roll back. Uh, in action here. So eligible taxpayers who call the automated collection system, the ACS and account managers toll free lines and want to discuss payment plan options can authenticate or verify their identities through a personal identification number, a PIN uh, creation process. So that's kind of nice because that's one of the things that the IRS has been kind of slow about. You can communicate with all other sensitive kind of uh, communications with your bank, for example, uh, fairly easily uh, over the phone and automated services and online. So you would think if it's secure enough for those things, the IRS can use similar kind of processes to give us the information that we're looking at and they're getting better on their websites. Hopefully they can get better on their automated stuff too. So setting up a PIN is easy. Taxpayers will need their most recent IRS bill and some basic personal information to complete the process. Quote, to date, the voice boss have answered over 3 million calls. Holy moly, the bots, the bots have answered. They've also made billions of tweets over the last 
you know, <laughs> couple days. So bots are doing great. Their productivity is, is just amazing. So as we add more functions to taxpayers to resolve their issues, I anticipate many more taxpayers getting the service they need quickly and easily end quote said doreen gallet irs De uh, deputy commissioner of small business slash self-employed collection and operations support that is quite the title that uh, darren darren has gallet quite the title it's like half the it's like half the article here is that title it's amazing Additional voice bot service enhancements are planned in 2022 that will allow authenticated individuals, taxpayers with established or newly created PINs to get account and return transcripts, payment history, current balance owed. In addition to the payment lines, voice bots help people who called the economic impact payment EIP toll free line with general uh, procedural responses to frequently asked questions. The IRS also added voice bots for the advanced child tax credit toll-free line in February to provide similar assistance to callers who need help reconciling the credit on their 2021 tax return. The IRS also remains uh, reminds taxpayers about numerous other available self-service options. <laughs> Which there's a link to that here. That kind of tells. That kind of seems to me like, yeah, please use the website and our bots and stop trying to stop trying to contact us like, and just use the use the bot services but there's a link to that here maybe that'll be a, a significant improvement i'm still not exactly impressed with it personally but maybe maybe i'm wrong i've been wrong before once or twice so there's links to a lot of stuff here there'll be a link to this in the description